LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so this is the installation video for putting your keys onto your keyboard. We're going to show you how to do the regular size key, and we're going to use the H for that. We're also going to do the large key, and we're going to use the Enter for that, and the space bar. So for the letter H, actually for all the uh, keys, you have to look for the metal hooks that are on the keyboard. In the H section, you can see there's two large hooks at the top and two at two smaller ones at the bottom. But make sure to look at the different key sections because they can change position. Uh, the large ones could be at the bottom or to the side, and the position for that determines the position for the hinges, which are these. So there's three steps to uh, uh, put the key uh, functioning correctly onto the keyboard. The first one is to click the hinges together, the second one is to put the hinges on the keyboard, and the third and final step is to click the keycap on top of that. So um, these hinges are identical, so it doesn't matter which one you start out with, uh, just grab whichever one. Um, one has to arch like a U, and the other one has to arch like an N. Um, so let's grab one, uh, start with the one uh, that you're going to leave or turn as a U. Now you can see that this one has the pin here, that we're going to insert it onto the hole that's on the other piece right here. And this p pin, we're going to insert it on the hole that's over here. So you have to make sure not to put the entire piece upside down like that looks the same but the mechanism won't work and you do that by feeling underneath the bottom bar if you feel an extra thicker piece in the middle that faces up and if you feel a gap uh, that faces the keyboard so same thing with the other piece uh, this one's going to arch like an N remember and we're going to make sure not to put it upside down also by feeling right here um, thicker part on top, thinner gap on the bottom. Now, uh, this how these pieces click together is by inserting those pins onto the other piece at the same time. But uh, you have to make one piece go horizontal and the other piece vertical like that. And at the same time, uh, we're going to just move in the pieces together so that the pins can move in to those holes. So this is going to take a few uh, seconds for you to get right. Once you have it in there, we can go on to the next step. I think that's it. Now, it really doesn't matter um, which side it this goes what really matters is where the hooks are so if the large hooks are on top then you can see that uh, over here there's a you know the, it can go either like this or like that because the both hinges are the same so go ahead we're going to insert those um, holes that are at the top into or underneath the large hook. Then you hold that in place and you want to stretch the hinges 
or slide them down enough so that the metal hooks that are at the bottom can grab onto the hinges also. So you want that uh, those pins that are at the bottom to go around and under those bottom hooks. So now the hinges are secure, we'll do the last step which is getting your key cap, putting it right in the center and pushing down evenly on all four sides. That's it for the regular size key. For the large key, we're going to use the enter, and it's the same procedure. This one has two hinges, one at the top and a larger one at the bottom. It's the same procedure to install those, so we're going to assume you already have those in there. And the uh, other difference is the back of the uh, enter key has a metal wire that goes at the very top. It has two fittings. Uh, you can see that there's two um, bigger fittings over here but the ones next to those are smaller and they're higher up on the key cap so those are the ones you want to click the wire onto and that's it now you uh, assuming you already have the hinges there you want to open up the wire like that and put the key in the right position and then just position it uh, so you can see the underside like that and the wire has to go underneath those metal hooks that remain on the keyboard those are specifically for the wire so go ahead and put those underneath those hooks then you just lay your keycap down flat and push down evenly on all sides so that it clicks onto the hinges now the uh, space bar has the same procedure as the um, regular size key. Only difference is uh, the wire. So this wire goes at the very top fitting. There's two larger ones here and two larger ones here, but higher on the keycap there's smaller ones. So one at the center and then one on each corner. That's where you want to click your wire in. Then you put the uh, key in the right position at the top it's square and at the bottom it has an angle that's how you know not to put it like that it's like this and you want to open your wire up and same thing you want to tilt the keycap so you can see the bottom then put the wire underneath the metal hooks and turn it over and just click it onto the hinges and that's it laptopkey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.